So, hello everyone from So Java. I'm here with the Java champion Rustin. <laughs> and uh, well, he, he will do amazing call, amazing talk in a couple of minutes, right? Yes, it's uh, like 30 minutes or something. Yeah, yeah it's a couple <laughs> minutes. Yeah, okay, you are watching that in another time, but please tell me one more about your topic. The topic of all right, game. well, first of all, hello everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be talking about Cloud Native and I'm going to be talking about tools in Java that you can use for creating Cloud Native applications. But I think I will need to start with like explaining what Cloud Native is, defining it, and then um, you know uh, starting to talk about which tools we can use for which parts of it because Cloud Native is big. The toolbox for it we have as Java is yeah. big. Uh, there is a lot of different needs that we have as well that needs to be addressed. And, you know, all those things that need to kind of put into the different Got categories it, yeah. to explain what it is and how you do it and, you know, all this kind of thing. Yeah. So, we'll see. How it's, I, I hope people will enjoy that. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> and and uh, the rest of uh, I have been... Uh, we, we did a little uh, uh, quick talk uh, discussion right now. Uh, but... Uh, it's very hard to define cloud native. Yes. You know, the people sometimes say, "Oh, cloud native is just a run Kubernetes. If you run Kubernetes, it's a cloud native." <laughs> but some, right now, we, we can see a big movement from to serverless yes. context because the people wants to pay just yeah what they use. Yes, yes, that, yes, exactly. Right? So, uh, could you could you tell me a little a little? Uh, yeah. Spoiling about that, maybe so, <laughs> it's very interesting. So the thing is, like cloud native is, uh, it's it's so many things, right? You don't have to run things on a cloud. That's oh. one thing because you can, you know, you can, you, you it should be you should be able to run it on a cloud, but not oh, necessarily amazing. run it. You can also do on prem stuff and still use cloud native, uh, you know, to, uh, to tools and you know approaches and all these kind of things and also when it comes to serverless you know it doesn't again mean that you have to run it on the cloud you can actually <laughs> run it also on-prem and there are like tools for that as well there are like things like Knative and stuff like that but it's not going to be this time it's then it's not probably going to be about money because you have hardware it's your own hardware and all that but it will be about the resources so you can actually share the same resources between more applications so you know that's also another thing to think about and uh, yeah like you said it's not just if you put things on Kubernetes and then you're cloud native because you most of the cases, most of the times, unless you have like big systems, big groups of users and stuff, you don't really need all the everything that Kubernetes brings to the table. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you yeah. need something simpler. Most of the times, actually. So that's why, you know, you have to sit down and think what you actually need uh, for your application. Uh, and, yeah. yeah. Amazing, amazing. So. Thanks so much to, to, to give a, a, a little presentation right now, guys. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it will be a pleasure to, to have you in the Java channel if you want in the future. Thank you so much. I'll be, I'll be happy to. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So stay tuned, guys. I'm here in a GeekCon. It's the first time that I'm here. I'm so excited to meet people like him. <laughs> All right. So still tuned. Likewise. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, guys. See you next time. See Bye. you. Bye-bye.